coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. The Burt Rutan to return to Oshkosh 2024. Reno Air Racing Association whittles replacement list down to three. Ingenuity Helicopter's resting place caught on film. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. The Burt Rutan to return to Oshkosh 2024. The truly legendary Burt Rutan will return to Oshkosh in 2024, with appearances and forums coinciding with the 50th anniversary of his very easy canard aircraft design. EAA AirVenture Oshkosh 2024 is July 22nd through 28th at Whitman Regional Airport in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Rutan, an EAA Lifetime member for more than 50 years, made his first big splash at Oshkosh in 1972 with the very Vigan, which brought canard design to the home-built community. That led to a series of other Rutan recreational aircraft designs with innovative moldless fiberglass construction, which included the very easy and long easy that are still being built today. The public recognition of Rutan came in the 1980s with his design of Voyager, which in December 1986 became the first aircraft to fly around the world nonstop on a single tank of fuel. The record was surpassed with a similar solo flight by Rutan's Global Flyer in 2005, with Rutan's unsurpassed legacy crowned with the successful flight Spaceship One in 2004, completing the first successful civilian space flight that earned the $10 million X Prize. Rutan's exact schedule at AirVenture will be announced as it is finalized. And after the break, Odysseus Lander lying prone, failing after bungled landing. For over 30 years, the massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, and even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com A special month is coming to Sun and Fun's 50th fly-in celebration. Multi-platinum singer Dylan Scott. Out here living, living my best life, yeah. Scott with special guest Sarah Evans. Get your tickets now. Be a part of the kickoff celebration for Sun and Fun's 50th Fly. Go to flysnf.org. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Odysseus Lander lying prone, failing after bungled landing. The Odysseus lunar lander didn't stick the landing when touching down on the moon. The IM-1 intuitive machine lander couldn't accurately gauge the distance to the surface since it was missing some of its range-finding lasers, though some panicked last-minute software sought to make use of a LiDAR testbed equipped on the ship in their place. In the end, the software was moderately successful, allowing Odysseus to determine altitude above the surface on its way down, but an unexpected and unfortunate amount of side loading resulted in the lander toppling over on its side. Helicopter Association International, now Vertical Aviation International. The helicopter industry is calling dibs on the upcoming boom in eVTOL aircraft, with a long-standing stakeholder group, Helicopter Association International, usually HAI, changing its name to the more broadly incorporative Vertical Aviation International, or VAI. The change keeps them on the cutting edge of the rapidly evolving vertical flight ecosystem, guarding valuable market share before eVTOL operators have a chance to head off on their own to build an entirely new clubhouse. Enstrom adds AC to 280FX and F-28F helicopters. 
Enstrom helicopters are shaking up their portfolio with the addition of air conditioning as standard equipment on their 280FX and F-28F helicopters. The units will come courtesy of Kelly Aerospace Thermal Systems using their all-electric air conditioner suite. The firm holds an STC for the Enstrom line of lightweight helicopters and will be available as a factory installed option off the floor or a post-sale retrofit for those who want them. Hartzell Propeller Service Center bumps warranty up to two years or 2,000 hours. Hartzell Propeller has announced some nice changes to gear from its official Hartzell Service Center, with a new warranty increase to two years or 2,000 flight hours, whichever comes first as usual. The increased coverage will be accompanied by a wider selection of parts kept on hand at the center, allowing quicker turnaround times for those sending in their props or hubs for overhaul and service. Hartzell's home base for services, Piquet, Ohio, is additionally helpful because fly-in services are exempt from state sales tax. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Reno Air Racing Association whittles replacement list down to three. The Reno Air Racing Association folks have disclosed the top three locations in the running to become the future home of the National Championship Air Races. The three finalist cities are Casper, Wyoming, Pueblo, Colorado, and Roswell, New Mexico. The Reno races brought an estimated $100 million in annual economic impact to its now former home in northern Nevada. Fred Telling, CEO and chairman of the board for the Reno Air Race Association, said, quote, We've been overwhelmed by the amazing, positive feedback we've received from the six bidding communities as a whole as we search for the future home for the national championship air races, end quote. In April 2023, after receiving 38 inquiries from different locations, an official request for proposals from the Reno Air Racing Association was sent out nationwide to find a future home for the national championship air races. Eleven cities attended one of two bidders' conferences in 2023, expressing further interest to host the event. Of the 11, six cities submitted complete proposals. A final decision on the future home of the National Championship Air Races is expected in April 2024. And after these messages, Ingenuity Helicopter's resting place caught on film. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Welcome back. Ingenuity Helicopter's resting place caught on film. Ingenuity, the Mars helicopter, flew its last earlier this year, terminating a flight with an uncommanded and premature landing with telemetry cutting off soon after. It was unknown exactly what happened to Ingenuity or what state it was in following its last attempted flight, but a distant drive-by from its orbital companion, the Perseverance rover, provided a coda to the little Helos mission. Using the rover SuperCam Remote Microimager, NASA was able to get a good enough image of the helicopter from 1,500 feet away, creating a series of images of Naret Vavalis. Ingenuity's final resting place shows the little helo upright, with one rotor blade snapped off and flung into the Martian dunes. If anything, the broken rotor makes it all the more surprising that the little aircraft landed upright, if it indeed had broken off while attempting an altitude of 40 feet. NASA back home had worried that the aircraft was destroyed in some kind of fracas, 
given the lack of telemetry and abrupt end to its last flight. The knowledge gives them much to work with for the next aircraft, however, and Ingenuity's amazing track record shows just how far a small project can go when it's built with quality. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.